also called life. And we have never really been able to have a whole conversation with you that I've understood very much. Um, but I feel like I know you very well. And so I'm glad that you have felt, I mean, you can't be here, so, but I'm glad that you feel that this is your home. And uh, it's pleasant to have you have to be there. I hope you don't leave. Um, there are a few people I have not spoken about, and some glaring um, uh, missing individuals, um, notably my dear friend uh, Richard um, and uh, Rita. And you can see how they are um, standing alert, ready to hear everything I have to say about them. Um, of course, Richard comes with a guitar, they one flash, and they uh, be helped to us ever since the time we first arrived. And of course, Rita was talking. Uh, and R Ricardo, <laughs> I also want that together, but I'm not going to talk about them. Uh, they know me well enough, I think, uh, to know how much I care about them and value their contribution to our ministry here. Um, you all must look after them, help them not to do what I have been guilty of doing, which is to allow people to, uh, to give too much. Just uh, watch them, look, look at what they do, and, uh, and help them, and take their example, uh, especially Rita, I'd have to say, because she can make a team, and she can uh, lead a team, and she does it with joy, and she, builds, she brings people with her. If that's, dis if that's not discipleship, I don't know what it is. And you can see how Celine is becoming a proto beta in a yeah. even better way. Ready to learn from the best. <laughs> you are, a competition. That's good. Um, and you all need to do that because don't let these people or any of the people who are leading uh, burn themselves out, okay? Uh, you all have gifts. Uh, every one of you has amazing gifts. Um, so uh, ask them for their encouragement to help you to try out your gifts. And uh, in this church, you know, every one of you can be a leader. And if you have a small group of six people each, look how big this church can be, a powerhouse for the kingdom. Um, okay. Uh, yes. That's just about it, really. Um, it's, it's time, as uh, Paul said in his letter to Philippians, uh, to forget the things which are behind us and to reach on to the things which are ahead. Um, difficult to do, um, but this is the will of, of God. Uh, to press forwards towards the call to God in Christ Jesus. To press on to Him in the power of the Lord Jesus. I, I wish uh, and I, I hope for a blessing on each one of you that that becomes so real, so powerful, that you know exactly what it is that it means to press in to God in the power of the Lord Jesus. Be anxious for nothing, he says. And if we can get rid of our fears, how amazing could our lives be? I have to tell you, I was a very anxious person once, uh, and I still sort of am, but um, anxiety can be overcome easily in the power of the Spirit of God. If you have fear, it's the one thing, hang on, I'm not going to Jesus tells us, don't be afraid. So many, many times. Be anxious for nothing, let your requests be known to God, and may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Alright, I don't let me do anything practical. <laughs> okay. Take care. Nice.